so, so PMM stands for primary mitochondrial myopathy. And uh, uh, what, what, what PMM is, is uh, patients that have this disease have a genetic defect in genes that uh, are involved in uh, either how mitochondria are formed or how they function. And uh, as you know, the mitochondria are very important in, in, in the body. The mitochondria are uh, little organelles that are within the cells and each cell uh, in the body may have a, a handful or a thousands or, or, or tens of thousands of mitochondria uh, that generate the energy for that, uh, uh, for that particular cell to function. So if you're a muscle cell, for example, you will have a lot of mitochondria because muscles require a, a lot of energy uh, to contract and to, to move. Or if you're a brain cell, you, need, you, you will have a lot of mitochondria there because the brain cells are constantly firing and active and they require a, role, a lot of energy. So what happens to these patients is that because there are defects in the mitochondria, these are genetic defects, uh, the mitochondria don't function well. And in, particularly, in particular, they don't do something particularly bad, which is uh, oxidative phosphorylation, which is the mechanism by which mitochondria process fats to generate energy. And uh, so these patients, have a deficit in, in energy and they cannot, their, their, their body cannot function well, specifically or more specifically in areas where, where high energy demand is required. Uh, there, the primary mitochondrial myopathies come in two flavors. You can have either a gene defect in the mitochondria itself because the mitochondria have themselves their own genes or you can have a defect in the nuclear genes, the genes of the cell that affect the mitochondria. Now it's important to distinguish these two groups because patients who have a nuclear defect, a defect in the nucleus of the cell, all their mitochondria are affected. But patients who have a mitochondrial gene defect often present with something that is called heteroplasmy, which means within the same cell, there will be some mitochondria that function normally, but there will be others that will be affected. Now, why is this important? Because if you have all your mitochondria affected, generally the disease will be more severe, will present earlier, and can be very devastating. In contrast, if you have a mitochondrial gene defect and not all of your mitochondria are affected, depending on how many, what proportion of the mitochondria are affected, you may become symptomatic very early, or actually you may become symptomatic later in life. So for example, nuclear defects are far more common in children, and mitochondrial gene defects are far more common in adults because they tend to present later in life.